want. This ain't no TikTok shit. This ain't no TikTok thing. You understand? Sorry about them because I love listening to people that, that you know, spit. Like, I love punchlines. That was always, like, my like my favorite thing and, and always made people like my favorite artists because of that. Um, so, we wanted to add a couple other things to get you guys, um, to get you guys excited about the re-release re of the mixtape. And so what I did was I added a couple joints. So, um, I did a remix to Crocodile Teeth. First thing I'ma do when I pop out is tell my nigga, yo, make sure you got the Glock out. I just hopped out, looking like a knockout. First thing I'ma do when I pop out is tell my nigga, yo, make sure you got the Glock out. I just hopped out, looking like a knockout. In these streets. Getting out of blood class streets. I saw blood, blood class, class streets. Yo, you know, you know, you know, I'm Nicki Minaj dropping music today. <laughs> oh, you did? You gotta get, you gotta get hit, bro. When I don't grind me. First thing on on a bowl like me, me full of gun, heavy clip full of crocodile teeth. All right, welcome back to Soul Flow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most bumbo clot. Yo, Skilly, go on, do your thing, my brother. So anyway, Skilly Bang, Skilly Bang released Crocodile Teeth song and video seven months ago, and it has over 19 million views on YouTube. That's huge for a dancehall artist. Now, there was a lot of talk about him faking a remix with Nicki Minaj. A lot of people were saying, yes, Skilly, fake it till you make it, because when he actually released the information that he got a feature from Nicki Minaj to do a remix for Crocodile Teeth, one of his biggest songs, a lot of people were saying, a lie, Mattel. A lie, Mattel. I fake him, I fake the thing. And it didn't work out too good like the next day after that. There were some kind of, you know, all kind of discrepancies going on. Well, put all that to rest, my friend. All right? Enough people laugh after Skilly. Say it's a hoax and all that. And then Nicki Minaj drops the remix herself on the Nicki Minaj YouTube with over 22 million subscribers on that YouTube channel at midnight. And it hit 128,000 views in less than 50 minutes you understand in less than 50 minutes not to mention she went live on ig so for those who are not following Nicki minaj and they are saying that is lie skilly bang tell well you would have seen her on her live she went live she hasn't been live in a while you know Nicki been off for a minute doing her mother thing she had a baby doing her marriage thing catering to her marriage her husband her family getting her unit tight doing big girl things you know me i said big woman thing really yeah and now she's back so she goes live and over a million people show up for this live you understand beanie man was on the live and she healed up beanie man Holly Berry was on the live, big Holly Berry, Hollywood Holly Berry, and she hail up Holly Berry, she was on the live, among other celebrities that were on the live, she even went live FaceTime on the live with Drake, but the big kicker was when she confirmed on the live out of her own mouth, on camera, she said, I did a remix to Crocodile Teeth, Blow! I know right now all the Skilly Bang um fans are like, yo, Skilly Reach, Skilly so crossover and gone international and all these things all around. It's a good look for dancehall, right? Which is one of the new joints that she has added to her classic mixtape re-release, the Beam Me Up Scotty re-release. All right, if you remember the Beam Me Up Scotty mixtape from Nicki Minaj, it had tons of bangers on it, right? And right now, she's taking it and re-releasing it again. I did not know this, but Nicki Minaj does not even have a Grammy, son. Which lets me know that the Grammy is garbage. If Nicki Minaj does not have a Grammy, the Grammy is garbage. For all the years, this woman has held it down at the forefront of the game. 
Nobody else in her lane, not even anything close to a competition in the female sector of the business. And you know what I'm saying? So, boom, she is re-releasing the Beam Me Up, Scotty. And she is adding, from her own words, she is adding some new material to the Beam Me Up, Scotty. She didn't want to just re-release it with the same old, same old. She wanted to put some new flavor on it. According to what she said. And she is impressed by people who rap like how Skilly Rap basically made her remember why she started rapping. It's for the punchlines and the things that said in the song. You see? So this is huge. This is huge. This is trap dance hall, by the way. You know how Tommy Lee have gothic dance hall? This is trap dance hall. That's the this is the kind of dance hall that the elders them look down upon. A lot of elders are saying, yo, I can't relate to this. I can't relate to this new thing with them. I do the beat. Them is not dancehall beat. The song now going to go far. The international artists aren't going to want to collaborate with them because they are not sticking to the formula. Well, I pray that I never become one of the elders that try to stand in the way of the youths or try to like criticize them too hard because it's their wave. It's their time. It's their generation to rule. You understand? Just remember, our parents wasn't into our music. You know what I'm saying? And, and they weren't into our fashion either. Everything we did for them is like, oh, yeah, do that for? That not sound good. You're crazy. Go take off that and understand. But their parents, which is our grandparents, were the same way towards our parents when they were coming out with their style of music and their style of dressing and all that. So you have to move out of the way. And get a new generation them thing. And for the artists them that have been around for a long time. This is also a way to reinvent themselves. And a way to relate to a newer generation coming in. Because that limelight don't shine on you forever my friend. Alright. So they were saying that this kind of dancehall now. Trap dancehall. Is not going to grab any international features. Well. Did y'all forget that Rich the Kid just left jamaica and he did work with skilly Bang as well and in our two weeks period that gone over a million views already it seems like the youth have created their own genre called trap dancehall and it's doing what many said that it would not do which is attract international features and it's doing so now Nikki, Nikki is a Caribbean girl, seeing Trinidad Affair thing. And y'all don't know already how the link up goes. And she's always speaking Jamaican. She always have Jamaicans around her. She was with Safari for a long time, who is an ambassador Jamaican car. Who in the world don't know now so Safari is Jamaican? Seeing? So Skilly Link Popcorn. Popcorn and Drake move like brothers. OVO Unruly. Now Skilly get feature from Nikki, who is label mate or was label mate family ties with Nicki Minaj who is super tight with Drake who is artist of the decade and then I know I said popcorn and that's somewhere and you see popcorn linking with Skilly so what I'm trying to say at the end of the day is it's all about the links and the connections you understand and I don't know how Skilly gets to get a feature here but I can guess that it is through those connections it is through that networking it is through that unity why them things you are going why it's a big look it's a huge look for dancehall music once again see let me see Mavado been on song before with Nicki Minaj and Nicki has done other things before so it's definitely huge for Skilly to even be mentioned let alone forget her official feature where she comes out and publicly co-signs the feature I know Nicki has been hearing all the rumors that it's not real, it's not real. A fake him, a fake it. So she made sure that she came on video to say, yes, I did a remix to Crocodile Teeth. Big up on herself in the dance hall, people. New generation, old generation, our thing. It's a good look for us all the way around. Dance hall music, our thing. A Jamaican thing at the end of the day, right? Our roots, our culture, our creativity, and our youths them. Another youth for sure gone through the gate yo the covid something yeah need to stop like right now so some of them youth here can get them papers fly out and go see what the world has waiting for them i think skilly is going to be extremely surprised to see what the world has waiting for him outside of jamaica 
talk can't tell me if me I talk foolishness it's so flow tv like comment share subscribe leave your comments in the comment section below and i'll catch you on the next video i'm out